In today's video, we'll be overclocking the Intel Core i5 11600K processor all the way up to 5.1 gigahertz using the Asus Maximus 13 Hero motherboard. The Intel Core i5 11600K is the little brother of the overclockable Rocket Lake k skewed CPUs. It is the successor of the i5 10600K. The Core i5 11600K offers 6 cores and 12 threads with a listed base frequency of 3.9 gigahertz and a listed boost frequency up to 4.9 gigahertz. The Maximus 13 Hero motherboard is the successor of the Maximus 12 Hero motherboard. We'll cover the basic steps required to get your CPU all the way up to 5.1 gigahertz using custom loop water cooling. Before we jump into the overclocking, let's talk a little bit about the hardware that we'll be using in this guide. Along with the Intel Core i5 11600K processor and Asus ROG Maximus 13 Hero motherboard, we will be using an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Ti, a pair of G-Skill Trine Z DDR4-4266 memory stick, a Seasonic Prime 850W platinum power supply, and of course EK Quantum water cooling. All this is mounted on top of our favorite open bench table. With all this in mind, let's jump into the benchmarks and the overclocking. Here's a list of the benchmarks used in this guide. Before we get started pushing the Core i5-11600K, let's first have a look at the scoring at stock settings. Here's the performance at stock. When running Prime95 small FFT with AVX enabled, the CPU operates stably at 4 GHz with 1.124 volt. The average CPU temperature is 59 degrees centigrade. The average CPU package power is 127 watts. When running Prime95 small FFT with AVX disabled, the CPU operates stably at 4.4 GHz with 1.175 volts. The average CPU temperature is 53 degrees centigrade. The average CPU package power is 127 watts. We try to build on top of what we've learned so far and maximize the system performance. While that may sound as simple as just increasing the CPU ratio from 50x by 1 to 51x, in the end, we're only able to increase the frequency to 5.1 GHz for our two best cores and leave the other cores to 5 GHz. We use Rocket Lake's brand new specific core ratio limit feature to ensure that 5.1 GHz is only applied to the best two cores. We also enable XMP. We use the CPU package threshold feature to target a maximum temperature of 90 degrees centigrade. This feature will ensure that the frequency is automatically reduced if the temperature exceeds 90 degrees. For example, when running a very heavy workload. Load. Since we know that pushing the ring frequency can be quite tricky on Rocket Lake CPUs, we enable ring down bin feature. This allows the CPU to automatically reduce the ring frequency if necessary to ensure stability. Upon entering the BIOS, go to the Extreme Tweaker menu. Set AI Overclock Tuner to XMP1. Set ASUS Multicore Enhancement to Enabled Remove All Limits. Set CPU Core Ratio to By Core Usage. Set 1 Core Ratio Limit to 6 Core Ratio Limit to 51. 51, 50, 50, 50, 50. Enter the specific core submenu. Set core 0 to core 5 specific ratio limit to 51, 51, 50, 50, 50, 50. Leave the specific core submenu. Enter the DG plus VRM submenu. Set CPU load line calibration to level 7. Leave the DG plus VRM submenu. Enter the AI features submenu. Set package temperature threshold to 90. Set regulate frequency by above threshold to enabled. Leave the AI features submenu. Set ring down bin to enabled. Set CPU core cache voltage to adaptive mode. Set additional turbo mode CPU core voltage to 1.525. Then save and exit the BIOS. We re-ran the benchmarks and checked the performance increase compared to stock operation. As you can see, in the majority of the benchmarks, we reach our best performance results. When running Prime95 small FFT with AVX enabled, the CPU operates stably at 4.6 GHz with 1.354 volts. The average CPU temperature is 89 degrees centigrade. The average CPU package power is 218 watts. When running Prime95 small FFT with AVX disabled, the CPU operates stably at 5 GHz with 1.458 volt. The average CPU temperature is 85 degrees centigrade. The average CPU package power is 246 watts. All right, let's wrap this up. In general, I really enjoyed overclocking the Intel Core i5-11600K processor. 
I managed to get the single core maximum frequency up to 5.1 gigahertz, up from 4.9 gigahertz, and all core maximum stable up to 5 gigahertz, which is up from the baseline of 4.6 gigahertz. The limiting factor of the 11600K is the temperature and voltage. Running Prime 95 small FFTs with AVX at 4.7 gigahertz requires 1.37 volts. This voltage causes us to see 89 degrees centigrade and nearly 250 watts power consumption under load. Using the package temperature threshold feature is something that I will definitely be integrating in any of my future ACES based overclocking videos because it allows you to benefit from elevated performance with minimal work. Anyway, that's it for me for this video. Till the next time.